Hello guys, welcome to another Python refresher session. In this session, we are going to look into functions. So let's jump into the Jupyter Notebook to understand this topic. So we are into the Jupyter Notebook. Now let's start our discussion on functions. So first of all, what is function? So in a layman term, you can say that a function is a block of code that contains a statement or say statements related to a specific task and the statement which we write within the function which must have execution sequence. So we will understand this with an example. But prior to that, let's understand that how many types of functions exist within Python. So on a broader category, there are two types of function. One is the built-in and another one is the user-defined function. Built-in function which is already being provided within the Python. So what are those? So let's understand that what kind of built-in function we have in Python. So for example, if you are having a list one and you are having some element, for example, if I am telling that ABC, some XYZ and some PQR. So these are some elements we are having and Python offers us some of the functions like length. Suppose that if you want to check the length of this list, then you can easily check with the help of length function. So list one, shift into, then it will return us the length of this particular list. That means how many number of elements exist within this list. So this is one of the example of built-in function. There are various functions available within Python that you can check it over here. So this is the documentation of the Python. So you can note down this URL and over here you will find all the built-in functions. And if you want to get the detail, if you click over here, then you will get the detail about all those functions and how to use that. That also you will get those information. So this is about the built-in function. So now let's proceed further and let's discuss about the user-defined function within Python. So now let's discuss about the user defined functions. Topic name user defined functions. So what is user defined functions in Python? So user defined function is nothing but the function which we generally define. So now the question over here is how we can define the functions within Python. So to define a user defined function within Python, you have to follow certain syntax. So let's look into that. So here we will define it. So how you will define it? you have to use a keyword called def and over here you need to specify the name of the function so you should remember that function name so you should remember the syntax and then you need to provide the braces over here and over here you need to specify the parameters suppose that if you are having various parameters then you can specify parameter one. If you have multiple parameter that also you can specify. So you should remember that then over here you need to specify the colon enter and then you need to specify the statement. So all those statement which you want to perform in this function that you should specify over here. So this is the generic syntax of the function within Python. So we will follow the same pattern while designing the function. So this way you can define the function. So this is what we call it as a function definition. So we can tell that it is a function definition. Now how to call this function? So to call this function, we need to use the function name. So I will call it as function calling or say calling a function. So to call this function, what we need to do? We need to call with its name. For example, you need to specify the function name and within the bracket, you need to pass the argument. So here you will pass the argument. So argument is nothing but the parameter which expecting and we are providing these values over here to the parameter. So we will discuss about this. So let me first write the syntax. So this is the syntax of calling a function. You can tell that syntax for calling a function. So this is two things you have to remember. So this is very important. So you have to remember how to create a function and how to call a function. Whenever you are creating a function, the thing which you provide over here, that is called parameter. And when you are calling the same function, then the thing which you provide the value over here, that is an argument. 
so let's create a user defined function over here shift enter so so now follow the same pattern and we are going to create a function for example if we are having a fruit ball list fruit ball we are having a fruit ball list called uh, fruit ball new list we can tell that new list and this contains certain fruits so let's say specify apple orange and banana so what i'm going to do i'm going to create a function which will accept this list and print the value what exists at item one at item two or say at item three and whichever or how many number of element it has it will print those element one by one with the index value so this is the simple function we need to define so first step we need to follow the pattern so you can see here we need to first specify def and then you need to specify your name so i am going to tell that print fruit bowl and what it contains it contains a list so we need to specify over here list fruit ball list we can specify so now the first step we have done we have written the function definition with the help of this thing now we need to write the statements so how we can write the statement so what we want to achieve we want to achieve we will grab the each element of this fruit and put a index and along with that i wanted to print that element so we are grabbing the we are taking the every list as a parameter so this list will come over here so first we will iterate through the list as i already mentioned how we can iterate the list with the help of for with the help of for loop so this is the statement which i mentioned over here statement one so for this program i am going to use for statement over here and here i need to specify fruit in every list fruit ball list now i want to grab the index to grab the index there is a function and available called enumerate so this will give us what are the index positions we have within the list so it will provide the enumeration for those indexes so that also i will get with the help of enumerate function this is a built-in function and so because of that we are able to get the ids index of that particular element so now i have grabbed it now i will print it so here i need to specify that item so here i will write idx plus one so it will print that item one we are having so we are having so here we will specify which fruit so comma root so now shift into so this is what we have written over here so now we have defined a, a small function what it is doing it is taking this every list and it is iterating through that list and printing the index value plus one plus one because this is being a start with zero and it is telling that at item one what fruit we are having so this is what it is going to print so let's call this function now the second step we need to call this function so to call it we need to specify over here the actual list name so this is going to be your argument so this list we have created so take this one and paste it over here so shift into then you will find that the output which we wanted to achieve we have achieved through this function and how we have designed it we have designed through the function definition and how we are calling it we are calling it through this function call so this way you can design your user defined function as per your requirement so this is what we are going to use very thoroughly in this data analysis course so this is one of the type of user defined function in this function if you will find that there is no return thing so what it means sometime you will find that some of the function has return statement at the last so that means after doing the calculation or after performing whatever the task which it's supposed to perform and after completion of the task it will send the result back to the caller so what it means let's understand with an example so another example we are going to do suppose that if you are having a list called num list and this contains some numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 however so how many number you want to keep you can keep it over here and we are having a function which will square these numbers so let's square it and after squaring these number 
it will return another list. So let's create a function for that and that will become a return function. So to create a function as I already mentioned we will use def keyword and we will tell that square it square num. So you will specify whatever the name you want to specify and it contains a list or say number list and now we will write the logic to write the logic we are going to write some statement so for example we are going to have a list that is called a square list it is a blank list earlier now next step we need to iterate through the number list so to iterate the number list i am going to take the number in number list i will take one by one and what i will do i will calculate the square and push it to the list so how we can do that we can tell a square or we can tell that x equal to number double asterisk 2 and then we will push it to this list so let's write it so another statement we will write it over here a square list dot append and within that we will put the value x which is a squared number of the given number so this is what it will do and at last it will return the square list so a square list so this is one of the type of user defined function where after performing the task we are going to return the result so this way we can define the return function so how we will call it so let's look into that so to call this function we should assign the return value within a variable so here i can tell that a squared list equal to this function and here we will take the name and here we will pass the num list num list which we have created and once we get the list we will print it so let's print it a squared list now what we will do we will do shift enter so let's do it we got some error let's look into that we are doing some spelling mistake so if you will closely look into that then you will find that here we have done some spelling mistake so copy it paste it again shift enter and this time again this one also shift enter then you will find that whatever we have passed over here it is a squared now and this time we have created a user defined function which is returning the result earlier we have created a user defined function that is not returning the result so this way you can create both kind of user defined function where you can create a function which doesn't return any value and it will perform the task and print the information there and you can also create user defined function which returns the result after performing the task so this is what i wanted to demonstrate you in this session so in the next session we are going to do the refresher for classes so this is going to be our last python refresher session where we will discuss about classes if you want to know about python object oriented programming then you can refer my earlier course where i have discussed in detail in the next session i am going to discuss the class thing how we can create the class but the object oriented programming concept which you have to know about the concept if you know that concept that is perfectly fine if you doesn't know then i would recommend that you should go through my earlier course that is learn to code from scratch with python 3 in this course i have also discussed about object oriented programming in python 3 so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care